wiggity, bliggity, straight from the oh, what's good, John? It's your boy Bougie. I'm back with another banger. I'm back with another vlog. Today's video is gonna be my daily morning routine with the dogs. What it looks like, I'm literally just waking up. This is not staged. I'm yeah, I'm literally just waking up. So I'm gonna just show you guys typically what every morning looks like for me um, as far as being a dog owner and um having these puppies and stuff and what my routine will be like like when i have my own puppies i don't know what anything looks like right now as far as like what the puppies are doing let's get it going i also forgot i just set up um i forgot to actually show you guys this so i always this is how i know i forgot because i did it and i was like oh shoot i should have recorded that but as I'm getting up, when I'm laying down, I'm rolling over. Um, I check my other phone for the camera because I do have a camera where they are. So that's mom, those are the puppies. Um, oh, it's kind of blurry a little bit. Um, I kind of just look up there, make sure they're good, first of all. And then also to um, just see what I'm gonna be um, getting myself into when I go up there. All right, so it's actually not that bad in the puppy area, um, which is good. So, yeah, I forgot to tell you that. So, step number one is I let my big dogs out. So, I'm going to let Tiny out. I'm going to let Dior out. Ooh. And then I'm going to let Z. So, let the big dogs, they go first. Um, good morning, ladies. They're gonna be going first. So I'll catch you guys when we get outside. Okay, so I got the dogs outside. Okay. Um, so now that I have the, the big dogs outside, I'm gonna be going upstairs and I'm gonna make the puppies their breakfast. Get a good potty tiny. So yeah, I'll catch you guys when I get upstairs. All right, so you have, you have to see just made that um i will make a separate video for mush if you guys are interested this specifically is not my recipe but it is my mixture um i follow direct orders from the actual breeder which is my friend amanda um and then we go from there so if you guys want a video of how i actually make it just somebody comment on the video hashtag mush and boom i got you <laughs> y'all so the mush is done um they're almost it'll be five weeks tomorrow actually and the mush only gets thicker and thicker um but not really thicker and thicker but you know what i'm trying to say like it went from dang near like milky to actually like solid so um yeah without further ado let's get up here to these puppies and then they gonna start so there's mom here are the puppies my camera is like really burning. But they definitely smell this mush, so they ready. So I'm about to get this stuff out of here really quickly. Um, and then we're gonna get them ready. So I'll be back in two seconds. So as you can hear, they are ready. They are ready, so I'm just gonna set this right down in here. And you all just gonna gravitate over. I let them gravitate over by themselves. Um, and then once they all get over there, then I actually put them in place. So just moving them over so they all have space to get groovy. Yeah, so I would typically sit here and watch them eat and stuff. Um, but I'm not gonna just record them eating the whole time. So while they're eating and they're fresh eating, um, I'm gonna take their mom outside. And uh, yeah, so I'll catch you guys when we get outside. So as you guys can see, I do not, I do not, I do not let my dogs come anywhere in contact with mom or the puppies at all. 
Even when they were all staged in my room, I let them out at different times to avoid any complications, any problems. All of my dogs have are health tested, have their shot records up to date, everything. Even when I'm done dealing with my dogs and I go to the mom or the puppies, I'm washing my hands or I'm sanitizing between every transition. So even though I'm outside right now, I'm gonna sanitize when I go back inside before um, I actually deal with, you know, moving the puppies out of the playpen to uh, clean and disinfect that stuff in there. So I'm outside with mom. Blue, get out of there. So we're gonna go back inside, get mom's food and water situated. And then um, it's just pretty much a waiting game. So whenever the puppies are done, I'm gonna let them like pee and poop, get all that out. I'm gonna do their little wipe down, clean them up. And then we're gonna clean up the area and get them situated to uh, relax. So I'm gonna catch y'all in the next scene. All right, so as you guys can see, they pretty much cleaned out the whole bowl. So a little left. I kind of didn't make them anymore. They usually try to, they usually eat around three to four times. See them poop some more. So this is all I wait for really. Um, it's for them to you know get out their poops. Um, so that way, as soon as I clean it, they don't go ahead and poop right back on it. Hi, girls. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. They are so dope, man. Like I said, it is still three available. Three available. is definitely starting to lift up. Look at look at that one. She is available. Look at this boy. Where's that boy? Where's that boy? Go right here. Girl Nova. No Nala. My for Nala. Hi Nala. Ah. This girl right here, I don't know how she's still available. She is super fire. Super fire. <clears throat> but yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, transition them over to the big playpen so they can spend some time with mom. I usually go in there and I just socialize with them. So I'll record when I get in there, but I clean up the area. Clean up mom's area. They all going in there for right now.
All right, y'all. So now that that is done, um, it's really just time to just cool out, bond with the puppies a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get in there with them. I always take some wipes just in case someone pees or something like that. Like one of them is peeing right now, as I can see. But Blue is over there cleaning it up. Good mommy. She's a great mom, y'all, by the way. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to just go in there, you know, spend some time with them for a little bit. And then we're going to put them back in their, in their home. So let's go ahead and uh, get right into it. Little mold. Hey, boy. What's up, buddy? What's up, brother? What's up, brother? What's up, chunky girl? Jacksonville right here going to Jacksonville. But they all like. Huh? Hey. Hello. Right. This is Nala aka Syracuse. AKA Syracuse. What's up Nala? What is up Nala? Hey baby. Can you not climb on me brother? Big girl. Hi, big girl. Hi, big girl. I really do like you. I really do like you. I really do like you, big hey, girl. I'm so serious on this one. Hey, she got some nice, I mean, he got some nice blue eyes. Nakia. Hi, daddy, baby. I don't want everybody thinking that you're my favorite. Let's try a stack for you, baby. Good girl. Can I get a side view, please? She being stubborn. Yeah, she trying to be stubborn. Good girl. Good girl. You see this on the post?
Alright All right, y'all, so now it's time to come get the big dogs. I just got their food situated, which is super easy. Got Zena. Dior. Here she go. Y'all stop stepping on my damn shoe. Trying to get away from that street. Look at that girl Zane. That girl Dior. This should be your Dior. Tiny. Let's go. I know what time it is, man. I know what time it is. I see that girl Zane. Tiny, let's go. She be trying to play too much. Zane and Dior be ready. Y'all ready to eat? Ready? Right, let's do this, baby. Let's do this, baby. You ready, Z? Are you ready? To oh, shoot. Oh, oh, upstairs. You ready, Z? All right. All right, y'all. So I'm back upstairs. You can see they calm down. So that means playtime is over. So mom's gonna go in there, I'm gonna give her her food and water, and then the puppies are gonna go back. And we're gonna take care of that. All right? Mom has her food. The puppies are back in there. I don't know why my camera keep going blurry like this, but yeah, so everybody's situated. I gotta grab that poop before they smush. But. And yes, I do want to recognize that I did just pick up the poop. Their poop is solid. I just kind of smushed it, so it probably just didn't look like it. But as you can tell, you can't even tell that they pooped there. So the poop is solid. They're eating well. They're chunky, nice, healthy. Um, yeah. All right, y'all. So um, that's pretty much how my morning goes. Not everything is done. I just wash and disinfect it, all of that there. Now that this is done, now I take care of myself. I brush my teeth, I wash up. So now I'm about to take care of myself. Um, I appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope it was very informational. This is just my little routine that I do every morning. Um, I love it. Hopefully um, I could do this um, so often that, you know, I can free myself from working my full-time job and I can only do my part-time job. Um, so y'all yeah, just pray with me, y'all bear with me. I'm in the happy stages of my life. Um, business is really growing. Clientele is really grow growing. I'm growing, so I'm super excited. Um, Shout out to Top Tier Kennels, which is, you know, I am the CEO and founder of that. Y'all stay tuned for more videos. Like I said, if y'all want to see how I make the mush, y'all comment hashtag mush. I will make a specific video just on how I make it. Like I said, the recipe is not mine. I'm following orders of Amanda. I actually do like it because it's healthy for the dog. So I actually learned some stuff from her um, as far as her recipe. Um, but I can show you guys how I specifically make it and how I proportion everything. So. Y'all stay tuned. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Um, when I get to 1,000 subscribers, I will be giving a cash giveaway of $500. Yeah, so y'all stay tuned. All right, gangsta.